Worship is an act of devotion that makes us feel closer to our deity. Our religion teaches us to believe in and recognize our faith. And our faith may sometimes lead us to perhaps do things that are considered taboo by others. Seldom one's religious acts become unthinkable and bizarre for others. Near the India-Pakistan border and around 30 kilometers from Bikaner in Rajasthan, India, lies a small town called Deshnok. The town is famous for its ancient temple, known as Karnimata Temple, which goes back 600 years. Karnimata was in the form of a और उस समय राजा लोग और अत्याचार करते थे राजाओं का उस समय जो भी दर्द में शान मतलब दुष्टों का शान करने के लिए उतार हुआ है करनी माता का जन्म हुआ था 28 सितंबर 1383 को जोधपुर जिले के अंतर्गत पड़ोदी तहसील में एक छोटा सा गांव वहां गॉडस करनी इज वर्शिप्ड हियर बट दैट इज नॉट द ओनली रीजन फॉर द टेंपल्स फेम करीबन करीबन 6 साल की उम्र थी तो करनी माता की माता जी ने कहा भी तू बुआ जी से चोटी बना दे तो बुआ जी एक हाथ से चोटी बना रहे थे तो करनी माता ने कहा बुआ जी अब अपना दूसरा हाथ भी लगाइए दूसरा हाथ भी लगाइए तो कहने नहीं पता नहीं अब आएगी नहीं नहीं आप तो मजा करिए इधर दिखाइए हाथ करनी माता ने अपने हाथ से करने अपने बुआ जी का हाथ को टच किया और ठीक कर दिया तब नाम रखा यानी करनी कुछ चमत्कार करने वाली कल्याण करने वाली तब से नाम करनी माता का प्रसिद्ध हुआ this ancient temple not just belongs to the royal goddess Karni Mata of Bikaner, but also to her pampered pets. The Karni Mata temple shelters more than 20,000 rodents. Built by Maharaja Ganga Singh in early 1900s, the temple has remarkable entrance decorated with silver and gold. With thousands of tiny brown blurs of motion bursting across its marble floor, it looks as though you may have entered a kingdom of rats and they are all busy going about their daily routine. These rats eat, run, sleep and do almost everything like other rats. And surprisingly, the disturbance by the hordes of visitors does not seem to bother them. These rats not just reside within the temple in complete harmony with the visitors, but are also worshipped and loved by them. They are so cherished that if one of them dies, it has to be replaced with a rat made of solid gold. Not just Indians, but also fascinated tourists from across the world come to the temple to pay their respects and experience the miracle. Hindu newlyweds consider it auspicious to seek blessings from the goddess when starting a new chapter in their life. Many young newly married couples visit the temple right after their wedding. Karni Mata, a mystique matriarch from the 14th century, was believed to be a reincarnation of Goddess Durga. She lived as an ascetic most her life and was also the deity of the royals of Bikaner. The Deshno Karni Mata temple is one of the most famous and oldest temples of the goddess in India. The reason why thousands of rats, locally known as Kaba, are worshipped at the temple is linked to a legend. The legend goes back in time when Goddess Karni was alive. One day, the son of one of her clansmen from the Charan community died. In an attempt to get the child back to life, Karni Mata went to Yam Devta, the Hindu god of death. Yam told her that the child has already been reincarnated as a rat and sent back to earth. This led to a deal between Karni Mata and Yam that from that point onwards all her clansmen would be reborn as rats until they could be born again into the clan. What might sound like a nightmare to most is a strong religious belief for the devotees of Karni Mata. 
the miracle does not end here. There are also some uncanny facts related to the temple. Unexplained but true that these 20,000 rats live inside the temple boundaries and never leave. Yet more surprising is that no one knows how they reproduce as no one has ever seen any baby rats here. Almost all the rats are of a standard size and their number has remained constant. This is contrary to the popular rat behavior which is to multiply rapidly. Yet another wonder is that unlike common rats, these rats do not fear or run away from humans. Instead, they climb on the visitor's shoulders and even eat from their hands, which is considered a blessing. The holy rats are offered milk, sweets, grains and fruits in to receive Karni Mata's blessings. Eating food or drinking water from the rats' bowls of offerings is considered a great blessing. There are a couple of white rats in the temple which are considered holy. Citing them is considered hugely auspicious. The temple gates are sprung open for the visitors at 4 a.m. each morning and people queue up for the blessings of Karni Mata. The day turns into night with thousands of rats dining with the people and scampering over their feet. It is an unbelievable sight which cannot be expressed in simple words. One has to experience this wonder personally to believe it. The thought of visiting such a place might feel disgusting to a person, but despite being home to a large number of rats, the temple is reasonably clean. Amazingly, there have never been reports of any rat-related disease in or around the temple. It may seem strange that a rodent which is commonly associated with plague and other diseases is worshipped like a deity. But the miraculous temple is running on the immense faith and belief that the people have in the deity, Karni Mata and the large army of her tiny supporters.